I'm Robin Raskin, and I'm here at Digital Health Live Studio. My guest is Yaquil Engelhard, and he's with Teva Pharmaceuticals, but he has a very interesting story to tell about how he got there, one that I think we can all learn something about taking an idea to a product. So, welcome. Thank you. And tell us a little bit about what inspired you and how you got started on the path to where you are now. So in my, my previous life, I'm a, I'm a physician. I practiced medicine for about seven years in Israel. I always love the technology side of healthcare. I work with different startups in Israel. I decided to take it you know, one, one step forward, um, moved to Boston, did some uh, studies in MIT. And um, the company started as a, as a concept around children with, with diseases, chronic disease. Um, I tried to see you know, how we can create a better patient when they're still young. Uh, as a doctor, I was very disappointed with the fact that I really can't change the behavior of, of uh, adult patients, especially with chronic diseases. And with children, I, I always thought that there was still, you know, we can still do something. Um, and uh, asthma was, I mean, still one of the most uh, uh, common diseases right. with children. Um, and I like the fact that with asthma, you can, there is more than just the drug. There is actually almost a game. You know, the inhaler itself, it's a, it's a device you can play with it. I mean, it's almost like a game. You need to click you, there is a, there is a path. So you uh, made it like a game, right? Yeah, and, and, and children really engage with this. So what's the game? The game is how can I... So the game at the beginning was to see if we can uh, create this habit with children that to understand that if they use the medication they're supposed to use every, every day, they can actually gain points and they can continue with some kind of adventurous game uh, to the next level. This was one part. The other part is to try to bring the parents to be more part of a team. Right. Uh, so if they see that the kids are doing you know, whatever they're supposed to, they can also give them more, you know, kodus mm -hmm. and, 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 and points into the game. So this was part of an ecosystem that we built between parents and their children with us. And, and hardware and software. But your hardware is special. It's not just any old inhaler. You have some magic in there, right? So we, 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 we try to use all you know, the most common inhalers in the market, uh, the one with the canister, and to put a small sensor on top of it. So uh -huh. we really don't care what inhaler you're using. You can use it with every inhaler. Uh, and you can take a regular inhaler and suddenly make it uh, a smart inhaler. And what does your sensor do to make it smart? So the sensor, um, first it reminds you to use it. So it actually glows to remind you in the right time oh, uh, cool. of the day. Uh -huh. uh, it collects information when you use it. So we know to measure the way you use the inhaler. Uh, so with different pressure sensors, we actually understand how you use the inhaler and measure the time that you use it in the right way. And you can put it on all the different inhalers. So we have information from different medications that you are using. And this with uh, Bluetooth transferred to your phone, to the cloud, we analyze it and we show different information on the phone. So you're gathering data about that individual patient, but also about all asthma Correct. people using the, that. Inhaler. So, and now the story gets interesting because people, uh, companies much bigger than yours, start to look at this product, right? Right. So it started. I mean, the business model started with uh, who's going to pay for this product because yeah. we um, we were kind of with strong belief that the patient should not pay for this. Um, so we we work with different healthcare organizations, mostly payer systems, uh, mm -hmm. but also uh, healthcare system ACOs, IDNs uh, that are interested in seeing different services that can uh, lower the cost of the patient by basically mm -hmm. try to prevent from the patient to get to the hospital, deteriorate during the time. So this, this kind of system can really help self-manage disease. So this is where it all started. And so the data you're getting shows that with a smart inhaler, you are eliminating some of these effects? So with, with smart inhaler, you can first increase the right way of managing the disease. Right. So if it's using the medication at the right time or using them for the period of time you're supposed to, uh, trying to make it more transparent of when you overuse the wrong medication, which right. is a very common right. uh, problem with asthma patients. So this by itself can support the patient and there are already enough proof that it can you know, improve the outcome, but also lower cost. So this already exists. We also, also try to uh, support the, the healthcare system by providing objective information to the clinicians. That's so fabulous. It's a great story. You're now part of Teva Pharmaceuticals. We're here at Digital Health Summer Summit. And I thank you so much for joining us, Yaquil. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you.